that's been magic, actually. Yeah. Like one of the, every time I hook it up, a big smile comes on. So these just, they bite, they sink down, they cut. But, you know, I had been looking at a couple of other brands, looking at the finish and the job they do, talking to other operators. You look at what contractors are using that are punching out the heck there's, a, it's a common theme, with all the yellow and blue out there. So everybody, it's Sarah here from Delmate, and we're here today with Will Bignall from Buffalo and we are having a look at his 875 series disc. Thanks for joining us, Will. Can you give us a bit of a history and a rundown on your business? We've been here for a while, um, nearly 200 years on the farm, 360 hectares of pivot irrigated country, about 40 hectares of flood, and a cropping rotation based around poppies, cereal, sheep fodder. Um, all businesses are grazing with prime lambs, some wool sheep, uh, a big variety of terrain from 800 odd metres down to 300 metres. In terms of when you purchased the disc, can you tell us a little bit about your experience with Delmay and how you found them to deal with? Yeah, it was great. Once I made my mind up that I you know, was going to make this investment and go for it, just you know, being able to talk to someone and ask and talk about the gear we've got, they know the country, know what we're trying to achieve. Once you get that list together of what you want, confirm the order, and put the deposit down and the machine gets made and kept up to date the whole way through. So I had accurate timelines of when things were going to be coming through, delivered to me, when I could start work. All that stuff's important. So our 75 series uh, run the 10 and a half inch spacing as opposed to our 50 series, which are a nine inch. So what was the reasoning behind you sort of choosing that, that larger spacing? Is that to suit the ground that you've got up here better or? Yeah, a bit of adventure ploughing, breaking in pastures and sags and rocks, uh, champion rock grower. <laughs> and uh, so we just found the smaller disc, we we're forever getting out with the sledgehammer, busting them out, talking to everyone else's experience around me. There are a fair few sets of deal maids about here uh, that I had been hiring and contractors coming in and I was just, uh, yeah, decided to step up to that width. You've had the disc a while now. As far as maintenance um, or downtime, have you, have, has your experience been there? Yeah, absolutely amazing. Compared to what I was running with an old set of Inters, uh, I used to have a set of bearings underneath the front seat of the car with the bearing puller and the socket set, you know, ready to go. These, I just annually do that oil check. Um, you also haven't drained it as, as per manufacturer's instructions, but the oil was clean, good, happy, never changed a bearing. Um, the gangs stay tight as well. So we've tight, had to tighten the gang once um, in oh, a couple of thousand hectares worth of work. All those things add up to longevity of the machine, um, yeah. trusting who's operating it, you know, not having to run back and forward and check, you know, has that gang come apart? Yeah. What's that bearing doing? What's that noise? It just cuts, the bearings are brilliant. Uh, the axle's solid, the, the housing stays together. Everything's just there and works. Um, when you adjust it, it stays where you want it. Um, all the tools on the back is great. Um, every tool you can want's there, yep. ready to go. Um, you can just, you know, you don't put off doing that change. Let's change it so you just do it. The longevity of these machines, you see them around for decade after decade. Absolutely amazing.